Okay, how are you doing today? Hope you're having an awesome day. Has that shot been plaguing you? The thin little skuller that uh, you just love so much. Feels great in your hands and your arms and your claws. It's just, oh, hate that shot, especially when you have a wedge in your hand. We're gonna go over why it happens and how to fix it and I'm gonna give you a drill that's going to cure you from ever doing that again, hopefully. It might creep up every now and then, then you do the drill and you fix it again. But uh, we're gonna get rid of the thin shots today. Let's do it. Much better there, nice divot, nice shot, got in the air, that's what we want to have happen when we're hitting our shots. We don't want that, you know, gopher chaser going down the fairway. So, okay, let's talk about what causes this. Why, why do we do it? We'll kind of go over some of those, the main issues of why you thin it so that you can understand what you're doing. So then when we go to the fixes, you'll know why you're doing certain things. Does it make sense? So one of the biggest problems I see in why you're thinning the ball is you have a lot of face rotation going back. Okay, if you have a lot of rotation, and when I say rotation, that mean, I, I just mean you're flailing that club face open on the way back, okay? When you flail it open on the way back, well, you're gonna flail it unopen on the way down toward the ball. So when you do that, you're, sp you're twisting your hands quite a bit and it creates an atmosphere, an environment where there's a lot of movement going into the ball right before you hit. So when there's a ton of movement happening, you run a greater risk of misaligning that motion and therefore you're gonna hit it thin or fat and most people when they have a lot of face rotation they start thinning the ball so they take it back here and they're coming in and you rotate a little late you just kind of pull up a little so then that's why a lot of times you're hitting those off shots is because of your face rotation so the first one we have to do is know that okay if I rotate a lot here, rotate, rotate, thin, as a brand new Pro V1 right in the bushes. And uh, that's not cool. I was hoping I'd thin it down the middle of the fairway, but that didn't happen. But that's going to happen because you thin it and that face is open, goes right, you thin it, the face is shut, it goes left, you thin it, face is square, it goes down the middle. So we have to get rid of that face rotation first so this is gonna be uh, no rotation here. And a nice pure shot, nice height, everything's good. So that's gonna be kind of key one or reason one why you thin it, okay? Reason number two why you would thin it would be you're trying to get a lot of power into the shot. And when you swing hard, it uh, starts making your body get out of position. And mostly when you do that, you're jumping onto your tippy toes, okay? You, especially your back foot. You're going here, you're going onto your tippy toe. If you're on the PGA Tour, you can do this, but most of us are not. So when you jump up on your tippy toe, you get higher. Well, guess what happens? When you get higher, you, you know, your body wants to stay in a good position, but you get them higher. And again, you're just higher up by an inch or so, or even less. And, that's why you're gonna thin it. So we don't wanna do that. That's the thin, and the thin shot is uh, millimeters away from a topped shot. So it's really the same thing. So just know like, okay, we're trying for power, so we're jumping up on our tippy toes. So we can't have that. So we've got to know that, okay, I want power. Power's gonna come from not this motion, but this motion, feet on the ground and rotation. So. I really want to stay on the inside of my back foot as I hit. Don't get on the tippy toe. So 
That's gonna be the key. Don't get on your tippy toes. Just keep that back foot down, but roll it into the inside is gonna be a big help. And that's gonna start getting you power while you stay down, because power is gonna come from compressing that ball and being in a good position at impact, okay? So that's the other reason, and kind of the final reason is a, it's similar to that, although instead of going for power, you're just sticking your butt forward. So uh, you think, or you're interpret interpreting rotation as this move here, okay? This move is going to destroy your golf game. So you're not thrusting your hips forward. What you want to do is turn your hips open, okay? So it's partly you're going for power, partly you're going for rotation, but your rotation is just off and you're throwing this forward, which is going to create your spine and your body to stand up, which is going to cause you to come up out of the shot. Therefore, you're going to hit it thin. So those are the main causes of that. So what we need to do now is work on a drill that's going to help you achieve all these things in one drill. Oh, gee, what if there's something that exists like that? There is, and once you get it, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be, you know, drills are difficult, but you do them in every sport. You're gonna have to do them in golf if, that's only if, you wanna take a nice divot and be able to stay in the shot and hit it where you're looking without getting thin. So let's get to the drill piece of the video so that you can have the greatest success in your life. Come on. Okay, so here is what you're going to do for your drill. Now, most people go to the range and they work on it, they try to stay down. They try to stay down and you need to stay down for sure, okay? You need that. And you need to stay down for a long time through the shot. So you need that. Here's what you're gonna do. Uh, you cannot just go to the range and think that and try to do it. You need to force your body to do it. And if you force your body to do things, it will eventually learn to obey. But you've got to twist it and mangle it and get it into position. Otherwise, these things are not going to work. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your setup. You're gonna aim, okay? You're going to check your ball position here with your, uh, with your foot position. So, okay, here's my ball position. And I'm just putting a T down on the ball and on my feet, right there and there, okay? Okay, I just wanna check and see where I'm lined up here because that's going to be a critical piece. So let's see how we're doing. So as you can see here, my alignment is good or my position, ball position is pretty good. It's kind of just in the center of my stance which is exactly where I want that six iron to be. Okay, great, so we've checked my ball position and we're good, right? So that's where you would ideally wanna be, let's say with the six iron. And this drill is going to help you. So if I just hit shots like this with my six iron all day, great. You know, I could learn to stay down, but I could only stay down so much. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this six iron and now, I've got my stance, I've everything I'm measured out. We're good. I'm gonna move this ball forward. Like that would be one ball, two balls, three balls forward, okay? So here's my setup. And I'm gonna set up where it should be. Make sense? This is where it should be, it's where I want it. But I'm gonna set up here and I'm going to now hit my ball where it is. <laughs> Make sense? It's a tough one. So I'm set up here and I'm gonna hit that. In order to hit it, not only do I have to stay down, like if I come up, I'm gonna miss. If you thin it in its normal position, you're gonna swing over top of it here. So if I were to come up and just thin it from there, I, I'm gonna miss. So not, I have to stay down to get it where it is. It's pretty easy. So that's three balls forward and hit your, hit your shot now. Oh, that's good. And I think hit it a little thin, but a little thin there is gonna be absolutely perfect right here. So I want you to work on that
for a while, just put a bunch of balls, just set up normal, then move that three balls forward and hit your shot. You're gonna hit these a little thin and I want you to keep working it out until you start hitting those pretty good. Then, then you get to put one back here and see what happens. So I've practiced that shot for 100 shots where I put the ball way up there. Now put it here. Now my thought process is, dude, just swing the same swing I just swung. And say that 100 times fast. All right, so I'm gonna stay down like I did, going for that ball, three balls forward in here. Oh my gosh. That was uh, some of my best ball contact. I didn't take much of a divot. Again, you don't have to take a divot to hit solid ball contact, but your hands are gonna be forward, a little bit at impact, because you're just so used to releasing a lot later. Now, this drill doesn't help you with the face rotation. That's on your own. You just gotta feel like the club is a little shut going back, but this is gonna help you stay in the shot a lot better, rotating on the inside of the back foot and staying down through it all the way because that's really the key why you're thinning it. So I'm thinking about the ball, three balls forward, and we give it a go. And you really feel that rotation and extension way down in through there. That's going to be your drill to cure your thin shot life. When you're out there on the course, you're having trouble, you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and you can't fix it, do this drill move that ball forward, stay in it, you will fix your thin shots. They'll be gone, they'll come back, you'll do the drill again, they'll be gone again. And it'll be an endless cycle of constantly refining and improving your game. That's what we love about this thing. Hope you like this video. Hope it helps your game. Let me know in the comments below how it's working for you. Good luck, I love you guys. Stay cool out there. See you in the next video.